Buffalo, it is time to get started for the 2023-2024 season, and uh, we're looking to kind of tank. I'm not going to lie. So this is the heart of the team right here, right? Tage Thompson, Dylan Cousins, uh, Peyton Krabs, Tuck Skinner might be a guy that we want to trade away this season. Depending on how he does, hopefully he progresses well and we can get some trade value off of, off of him. Um, other than that, we're looking at a one power to grow this season. We're looking at Rasmus Dahlin to continue his ways. Um, and other than that, goaltending, we're giving UPL the net, seeing what he can do. We signed Jonathan Quick during the offseason to back him up. And then over in the minors, we are looking at our first overall pick. He went ninth overall for us, Casper Halton. We're hoping to see what he can do. He has potential to be an elite medium uh, with some very good X factors and snipe, make a snappy, close quarters, shock and all, and wheels. So we're hoping he can turn out to be something good. Other than that, this is what the team is looking like down here. We got Eric Comrie down in the minors as well with Prostov backing him up. All right. So we're seeing what UPL can do for us this season. We're going to sim the regular season. I also saw comments uh, saying to turn down the injury sliders. So I'm going to do that uh, because you know what? We do get a lot of injuries. Uh, and it does, it, it does suck. Um, and I feel like it, it's just, it, it's just too many injuries. So let me find this here. Um, I can't really remember where it was. Fatigue, recovery, injury occurrence. All right. CPU. We're going to turn that down to 20. Oh, we'll do 30 and we'll do human down to 30 as well. All right. So hopefully that will negate the injuries for this sim. All right. So we're going to sim the regular season or the preseason. Um, and get started. We're going to have to send out our scouts who we're going to take a look at quickly as well to see if we have the proper scouts that we need. All right. So yeah, let's stop the simulation quickly. Let's go to coaching staff. So we have all our coaches, uh, here. We do have our head coach who is a B overall, which is fine, man. He 57%. Uh, looking at our scouts, I mean, we do have some pretty good scouts. It's not like we have any bad scouts. Um, overall, actually, no. We, we can definitely get some better scouts. So let's see if there's any good scouts out there real quick. Doesn't really look like it, so we're kind of screwed on the pooch there. That that kind of kind of sucks a little bit. But other than that, we are going to sim continue simming to the regular season, players on waivers, and let's go assign the scouts. I'm going to do this off video because it's probably going to be a, just a lot to... Uh, do so we're looking to scout someone good maybe a goaltender some forwards our defense is pretty good but we're gonna go ahead and do this find some prospects i'll do this off video and i'll see you guys in a minute all right so everything is set up we are playing our first game against a buffalo or against minnesota this season uh so we're gonna go ahead and do a little sim for the first game of the season right we're gonna probably sim about two or three months for this first episode of the second season with this team and then we will go forward, all right? So let's see what we can do in our first game of the season. Let's see how this team shapes up. We're already killing a penalty to start off the season. Getting out shot 8-2. to two. Not great, but that might be some good things to see from this team. Like, we're hoping for a very good lottery pick this year, all right? So Eric Sinek gets the first goal on Jonathan Quick there, all right? And that is the end of the first. We'll quick sim the second. 1-1, one, one. Rasmus Dahlin getting his first of the season on the power play against Marc-Andre Fleury. So we got a very good tight game here on home ice for our home opener and season opener for the 2023-2024 season. All right, 1-1 one, one game still here. We're looking to see if we can break this tie. Minnesota's looking for the same thing as well. And Sam Steele scores with 250 left in the period. And Minnesota takes... Game one of the season, 2-1 against the Buffalo Sabres. Jonathan Quick, very good first performance as a Buffalo Sabre. Darlene with a goal and four hits. So not too bad to see from this team, all right? So I also want to do, like, I'm, why didn't UPL start? You know what I mean? Like, I don't know why it auto-rotates. Um, is there a way to turn that off? Let me see. I, I noticed that we need a goalie coach for the NHL, so I'm going to do that real quick. NHL goalie coach, uh, we'll send you to three years. Why not? And we'll give you 9-4 or 9-5-2, all right? So offer the contract. We need a goaltending coach, so he specializes in goalies, so we'll sign him real quick. I'm still trying to figure out if I can turn off uh, where the where they, where they auto-rotate goalies. I want UPL to be the starter, and he's not the starter because he's less of a... 
Um, overall, then, Jonathan Quick, and it's kind of annoying. I don't want that. I want UPL to run with the net. You know what I mean? So uh, I'm just trying to figure out that. If you guys know in the comment section below, let me know. Um, I'm not too sure. Also, quickly looking at Casper Holtonen. He's a 67 overall, all right? He, in one game played, already has a goal. He's a plus two. Not too bad. Uh, his synergies did change, so his his uh, zone ability is big tipper now. So advanced speed, accuracy, and range when deflecting shots. For a 6'3 guy, makes sense. Still has wheels, magnetic, big rig, and ankle breaker. So that's pretty cool. And he's already a 67 overall at 18 years old. So that's looking good for our first overall pick, man. I'm excited to see how he progresses. All right, with that being said, I'm, I wasn't able to figure it out. If you guys know how to do it let me know in the comment section down below with that being said we are going to simulate the first month of the season and we have our goalie coach now so that's awesome all right so that worked out perfectly we are good to go uh view the draft class uh so we got some good players kubalik looks like one of them uh ooh, okay this guy looks absolutely amazing a plus a plus a a a plus a minus uh heat seeker wheel shock and all big tipper so he's one to look at. We're going to pin him. Uh, Baines doesn't look like anything good. Uh, he's being scouted for us right now, which is good. Uh, we don't know much about him, but I do want him to get scouted. No scouts in the region. That kind of sucks. No scouts in the region for this guy as well. But Kubalik being one of those guys is pretty cool. He's one of the big gems that we've been looking at. All right. So Kubalik is one of the guys. He's projected to go number one overall. Another right winger, 6'1", 198, 17 years of age. All right. So one of the guys we'll be looking at come the draft, all right? So we are 2-2-0 two, two to start the season. Tage Thompson is out until November 1st. So that is our first line center. So pretty much Peyton Krebs up to an 82 overall already. He's going to get first line minutes now just because of the injury. And who is scratched right now up here, right? So can someone play center? Yeah, so Asplin can play center. Give me a winger. We'll put in you. And that will be the lines for now, all right? While he is out. Oh, my God. Tage Thompson is back. Let's hit continue. We are going to simulate that game against Montreal. That will be the first month for the Buffalo Sabres. We are 4-3-0. Let's go put Tage Thompson back into the lineup as he is good to go. And everyone pretty much gets sent down one. What did he do in his first game? Right, he played two games with a goal, so good for him. He is how old? 21. I feel like he should be down in the minors. So I'm a, is he on a two-way contract? He's on a one-way. All right. So maybe he's someone we're going to want to play. Um, but for the time being, it looks like he's going to be shorthanded. All right. Tage Thompson back into the lineup. He's back from injury. Good for him. And we are fourth in the Atlantic right now. Uh, first month. You can't really judge what's been going on. Uh, let's go back and look in the minors. Uh, Halton in already up to a 69 at the start of the season. He was at a 67 seven games played four goals four assists This kid is looking very very good He's already up two overalls in just a month of playing hockey with this AHL team man uh, And he's back to having snipe as his own ability interesting. Okay, so Good things to see Rusick. He's looking a little decent Bjork, you know, he's doing his thing down there Anyone who is young, uh, Ostalin doing well uh, at 19 years age, uh, 19 years of age. Uh, so good to see from that team. All right, uh, looking at Tage Thompson, five games played, two goals, one assist. Skinner, seven games, two goals, two assists, minus two. So that first line not really getting along with each other. Uh, so who maybe put Victor Olofsson up there, see if Skinner can progress. But Skinner's already up and overall, which is good because he's going to be one of the guys that might be moved at the deadline. For some picks, all right. So let's go another month here. See how the Sabres are doing. We are four three zero after one month of hockey, all right. Owen Power is out until November twelfth. I feel like that isn't a long time. We're already in November, so he's out for a bit there. Uh, do we have any defensemen that are scratched up here? We do not. So we got to go to roster moves. We got to call up a defenseman and uh have him play for now we'll call up robertson uh 22 years of age he's having a pretty good year down there in the minors he's gonna get a shot with the nhl team while owen power is out for the time being he's not out for long which is the good thing all right so put in robertson substitute in all lines and continue the sim uh let's go back to edit lines here we will just put in like literally anyone 
Oh, we have no defenseman down here. All right, so it looks like Byro, the left winger, will be playing uh, defense for this team. I don't know. That's interesting. Anyways, let's continue the sim here. Is it going to be glitched? It is. All right, let's continue simming to the first of the month. 5, 4, 1, and 0. Oh. Owen Power is back. So we are going to send down... We are going to send down Samuelson. No, was it? No, it was not Samuelson. Let's calm down with that. Why is he making 4.2 against the cap? Oh my God. Oh God. All right, that that's a contract that we're gonna have to get rid of. Who did we call up, by the way? It was Robertson. How did he do before we send him down? Okay, played one game, was a plus one. All right, so we'll take that. We'll go back to edit the NHL lines. Owen Power back into the lineup here. He's at an 85 already. That is insane. And we're going to make sure that uh, he's back into the lineup here. Robertson, back in you go. And everything looks good to me. All right, so let's stop the sim real quick. Casey Middle stats now hurt. All right, so the injuries aren't stopping for the Buffalo Sabres. But Pet Petrika is making his way back in after having some good games played in his first two of the season. All right, so... Continue the sim. Everyone's doing okay here. Uh, we will do head coach replaces best player for the AHL and continue the sim. All right, Casey Middlestat's back. We'll give it uh, until the Pittsburgh game to put him back into the lineup. Make sure he's back to full health as the Sabres are not looking hot, which we are fine with. We are tied with the Leafs in last place in the Atlantic. What's going on in Toronto? We don't know. Uh, Casey Middlestat is back. How did he do? Four games. Didn't really do much. All right, so Asplund back onto the wing. Casey Middlestat back there. I'm going to put him over. Ooh, okay. We get a minus one in that line. So that's why we didn't have that before. But, like, Casey Middlestat, man, I, I feel like he should not be on that fourth line. I'm going to I'm gonna bite the bullet and take a minus one on this line. I'm okay with it, all right? Uh, how is this line doing? Minus five. Maybe let's switch that up, all right? Let's throw Olofsson back up onto that first line and throw Skinner back onto that second line, all right? So... Everything's looking good there. Back to simming the first of the month here. And let's see how we do with these remainder of these games here. All right, 4-2 win, 7-4 win. All right, we're winning some games now. Don't know how I feel about that, to be honest. We're 8-7-1. Uh, AHL injuries continue. They continue. And all right, uh, yeah, continue. And it is now December 1st. So the Sabres are 10-8-1. Somehow, we are in six in the Atlantic. Looking at the whole NHL, we're still at the bottom of the league, which is good. Don't know how we have an, a winning record. I really do not. Maybe this, this line change helped, which means we're going to go back. All right, let's go back to losing games, please. All right, Casey Middlestat's working on that line here. We'll take that. Looking at defense, Owen Power still at an 85. 18 games played, four goals, four assists. He's a minus 10. So I don't know how I feel about that. Maybe we'll switch that up. Uh, maybe give Samuelson some progression there because he's making that money. Maybe he can be something good. Um, and we'll stick with that. All right. Looking at goaltending, which we haven't looked at yet. UPL is up to an 82 overall. Six games played, two wins. Uh, 898, which isn't great. Uh, Jonathan Quick really helping the team out there. Uh, now looking at the AHL. Uh, Halton is still at a 69, which is okay. Um, 20 games played, 5 goals, 8 assists, all right, not doing too great, um, but, you know, he's progressing, he, you know, he's learning, he's still only 18, he's, he's got a lot, a long way to go, uh, is there anyone scratch that has any X factors, no, okay, so, other than that, everything's looking good, Tage Thompson, 17 games played, 6 goals, 7 assists, um, you know, Jeff Skinner doing his part, what's his trade value looking like, like, I'm very interested to see what his trade value is looking like nowadays, uh, Owen Power is up there in trade value. That's good to see. But Jeff Skinner, not so much. I'm interested to see what kind of trades and nothing. All right. Okay. So he's got a contract where we're probably going to have to retain. I I'm not a fan of that because he still has a lot of term left on this contract. Like, look in here. He still has four years left. He's 31 years of age. The GM before me did not do a good job signing Skinner to that contract. So we're going to go probably up until the trade deadline. All right. So we're going to go a couple more months. With that being said, I think I got to go reassign my scouts, so let me go do that, and I will be right back. All right, now that that's all done, uh, I do want to check something here. View draft class. 
And I want to see who's doing good. So Kubalik still having himself a hell of a year. 21 games played, 4 goals, 10 assists. Still has those superstar abilities. He is the only gem that my scouts have found. So, oh, no, I lied. Caden is a gem, but doesn't have any uh, any X factors. Same with him. Um, other than that, my scouts aren't doing that greatest of a job. Uh, elite medium, nothing really going there. Rogers, nothing really going there. Top six, nothing. No X factors. We got an X factor and uh, Placanic here. He's supposed to go 11th overall, so he could be someone that we look at. Magnetic, 1T, Snipe, and Shock and all. All right, not too bad. He's a... Right winger, 5'11", 173, so he's got something going for him. Other than that, uh, we got another X-Factor here. Nothing really good. What's this gem mean? He's a bust. All right, so not something that you want to see, okay? So our scouts are sent out for the rest of the year, trying to find us a gem that we can pick up in the draft because, let's be honest, we, uh, we're trying to tank here. We're trying to tank, all right? So let's go another month and hope that this team continues to lose games and not win these games, all right? We lose 6-3 to the Leafs which is actually huge just because they are in the race with us right now um, to get uh, a, a decent pick, which is insane, all right? So let's continue losing games. We have a winning record still somehow. Tage Thompson is hurt once again. He is very injury-prone is what I'm seeing. So Krabs is first line, middle stat to the second, Colton to the third, Asplund will be playing fourth line center, and Petrika back into the lineup with the Buffalo Sabres as we continue the sim. And now Matias Samuelson is hurt with a sore foot until December 23rd. How was he progressing? Did he he did not move up overalls at all? We're gonna have to call up a defenseman, I think, because we don't have any up here that yeah, we just don't have any up here. So let's go to roster moves real quick. Like so. We're gonna have to call up a defenseman and maybe someone that can stay up here. Uh that won't hurt his progression how old are you 24 maybe we'll give robertson another shout up here so let's call him up actually what side does he play he's only a lefty we need a right defenseman um you know what let's uh who do we want to give it to here hold on who's in and you know what oh my no okay i was gonna say what the heck uh let's give it to fitzgerald Give him a shout in the NHL. See what he can do until Samuelson comes back. So pretty much everyone moving up one. Henry Yokiharu back to playing his normal position. And Fitzgerald going to be playing third line minutes with Bryson. All right. So looks good to me. Rochester needs some fill in here, which we will do. Again, a forward. Or no. Okay. We got Davies up here. All right. Perfect. Davies into the lineup. Uh, we got some issues here. And no, we don't. All right. Okay. So that looks good to me. We're going to have to stop the sim. Because uh, it looked like it was glitched, but maybe it isn't. Uh, Tage Thompson's good to go. We'll throw him into the game against Tampa Bay. Just because we want to make sure his injury is all healed up. And there's no shot of him getting hurt again. All right. So again, Patrika got an assist in that game he played. Good for him. And back comes in Tage Thompson into that first line. And uh, things are good to go, all right? So back to simming the rest of this month here. We're having a decent month, which kind of sucks, all right? Samuelson has returned to the lineup, so he is good to go, which means Fitzgerald will be sent back down to the AHL. And that means Mr. Samuelson will be back playing first-line minutes to see if he can progress somehow. Uh, hopefully he does, but at the time that we're looking at it, 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 it does not look like it. All right. So anyways, continue here. We're losing games, which is just great. Continue to lose these games. We're getting some points in some of these, which is kind of, uh, interesting. Also, I think it's, uh, I think it's, uh, I think to consider to move Jonathan Quick at the deadline, if a team needs a goaltender, we are last in the Atlantic we are not dead last in the NHL. The Kraken are with 24 points. We are fourth last in the entire NHL. So that's not too bad. A top five pick does seem nice. Looking here, how Skinner doing? Having a decent year. Cousins has a move. Krebs has a move. The right. Owen Power has a move, but he's having a good year. Minus 10. Him and Henry Okiharu don't seem to have some good chem there. Maybe try Clegg out there. I'm not sure. I don't know how I feel about Yoki Haru. Maybe we'll throw him back there and throw Samuelson back there. Other than that, goaltending wise, UPL 
907, he's only played 13 games. Like, I mean, Jonathan Quick's just taking the crease from him, which kind of sucks. Um, I don't know, man. I, I want him to play games. He already went up two overalls. I think we're going to have to be forced to move quick at the deadline just so UPL can try to progress here. I hate how they change the lines. Again, if you guys know how to fix that, let me know down below, all right? Looking to the AHL, Halton and up to a 70 overall, so he's gone up three overalls since he started here. 31 games played, 9 goals, 11 assists, uh, plus 4. Uh, same old, same old going on for him, so good for him. And other than that, the team is looking great, all right? So we're going to go another month. Next video, we will hit the trade deadline and sim the rest of the season, all right? So the trade deadline is coming up. we got about two more months to simulate. We'll go another month. And we'll hope to continue to just continue to lose these games and hope that the teams that are with us continue to lose games as well. All right, we have a winning record right now. We lose to Toronto again. Things you love to see, but we're also winning games. We got to stop. Henry Yokiharu is out until January 22nd with a mild concussion. All right, so that's not ideal, but we do have a defenseman up here ready to go. Whoa, do we send him down? All right, all right. We're going to have to do this, all right, because I'm tired of, like, calling up a defenseman all right so we're gonna send down someone who isn't playing with us right now rooster line and being one of them uh so we're sending you down all right we are gonna call up a defenseman here uh fitzgerald is 26 we'll call up fitzgerald let's be honest he's probably not going to progress into anything so i'm fine with him just sitting up here with the team whenever um the injured defenseman comes back whenever Yoki Haru comes back. All right, Fitzgerald, welcome back to the NHL. You're back to playing with us, all right? Uh, the Rochester Americans need some tuning here. Who is scratched at the defenseman? There you go, buddy. Enjoy. And uh, that looks good to me, all right? So continue to sim here. Uh, all right, yep. So many injuries, which is actually insane to me, all right? Continue to lose these games here, boys. That's all we're hoping for, all right? Uh, we might have to make an early trade uh, for Jonathan Quick to go uh, just because I want UPL to get some good games in the season, all right? So Yoki Haru's back. We're going to give him a couple more days to progress. He's coming back off of an, uh, a concussion. We don't want anything bad to happen where, you know, we could cause him to be out for a very long time, all right? So he's sat out for long enough. He will be coming back into the lineup. Welcome back to the NHL, Henry Yoki Haru, all right, buddy? And we will continue this month, which is almost over. And we've lost a lot of games this month, which is things you absolutely love to see. So continue the sim here. Bjork, all right, yep. And continue the sim, all right. 8-1 win against the Blackhawks. What's going on there? Uh, Acapozo's out with a neck strain for a little bit. So that's uh, our captain out for a while there. So Ryan Reeves is going to be playing up there. And then we'll give Jack Quinn a little bit of a shout here as well. All right. So we'll continue going there. And all right. So we're 22, 24, and 3 after what? Three or four months. Sitting in last place in the Atlantic. We are fourth last still, I believe. Uh, we are tied with the Devils for third last, actually. All right. And the Blackhawks are right behind us. Okay. So Tage Thompson is a point per game player. 45 games played, 45 uh, points. Uh, Jeff Skinner doing his part as well. Uh, anyone go up or down? Not really. Um, you know what? Jack Quinn, how did you do in your first game? We'll throw you onto that third line. Defense. Power still at an 85. He's a minus 11, dude. But you know what's going to happen? Like This team's losing games, right? UPL, 901. 907 for Quick. We're going to make a trade because you know what? I want UPL to be the starter. I'm tired of Quick getting the starting role. Uh, down in the minors here, uh, Halton and still at a 70 overall, 11 goals, 14 assists in his first outing with the AHL. Uh, all right, so looks good to me. I think we're going to go have to find a trade for Jonathan Quick because I do want UPL to uh, play the rest of the year. All right, so Jonathan Quick, let's see who wants him, and we're going to try to cook up a little bit of a trade maybe get a prospect goaltender back in return uh so we will go to skaters match in the block and we will see if we can get anything like he's got a decent little trade value so let's see what teams want him dallas wants him uh no one that we really want that they're willing to give up edmonton wants him. anyone that we're willing to take off of edmonton not really florida doesn't want him uh all right
right, not a lot of trade partners that want him. The Rangers do want him. They want Jacob Truba gone. Interesting. Uh, who's this kid? Okay, Skinner. 22 years of age. Has some X factors. Just truculence. Doesn't look anything promising, so maybe not. Uh, other than that, St. Louis wants him. Bert Bertuzzo, okay. Uh, Tampa's interested in him. They're only willing to give up that kid. Toronto doesn't want him. Winnipeg wants him uh, for nothing much, and that's about it. So you know what? Who really needs a goaltender? Apparently, they do. I guess they need a backup for Freddie Anderson. Freddie Anderson's out right now, so they do need someone. Uh, maybe we take some draft picks for Jonathan Quick. I'd be fine with that. Maybe like a fifth-round pick for Jonathan Quick seems to be fair. We could maybe try for a fourth. I just don't think a fourth would go through straight up for Jonathan Quick. Yeah, okay, so I think a fifth-round pick from Carolina who are doing pretty good, but a fifth-round pick that we can maybe move up for another pick could work. So Jonathan Quick, we signed him for a year. We knew what it was for. Can we get a fifth-round pick for him? No, not even a fifth. All right, so maybe a sixth-round pick or a fifth from Colorado can maybe go through? No, all right, so maybe a sixth. Maybe a sixth-round pick can get it done for Jonathan Quick. And it is done. All right. So Jonathan Quick is gone off to Carolina. They did need him indeed. So uh, we will take that. We need to call up a goaltender now, which we will call up. How old are you? 24. We'll call up Eric Comrie for the time being. Um, I still think UPL will get the net just because he is the better overall. So uh, you know what? UPL, now's your time to shine in the NHL, buddy. You are the starting goaltender for this team. Let's see what you can do. All right, buddy. And then the AHL needs someone. Prostev will be the starter. And then this kid, who is 21 years of age, see what he can do. Maybe give him the crease and see what he turns into be. All right. So we made a trade. Jonathan Quick off to Carolina. That's Carolina are having some injury issues uh, right now. And uh, Quick having a decent year can maybe turn it around for them. All right. So we're going one more month. And then that will be the end of this video. All right. Kyle Ockpose was ready to play. We'll give him a couple days until Vancouver is ready to play us. We got a trade incoming. Anti Ranta. We're giving up a third and a fourth to get a fifth back. I will decline that gladly. All right, so we're here in Vancouver. Kyle Ocposo is ready to go, and I think we'll be, we will be uh, we will be sitting out Ryan Reeves. All right, Kyle Ocposo is coming back into the lineup. We'll put him onto that uh, third line. We'll have Jack Quinn be uh, playing fourth line minutes and see what the kid can do. All right, so let's continue the sim here. Go to the first of the month. And call it a video, all right? So, Vancouver, 5-2 loss. We got a goaltender, Petr Kochev. Uh, let's view player info. 24 years of age. Uh, 932 save percentage. Whew, you know what? Why not? Let's claim him. See what we can do here in Buffalo, all right? Vinny Hinestroza is out with a MCL sprain, and he is out until March. Ooh, that is a big loss, which means someone's going to be playing a lot, and that is going to be Petrika, who was having a decent little uh, stint with us when he played here and there. He's going to be getting some uh, some heavy minutes now, all right? 6-1 uh, win, 4-1 loss. Let's keep the losses incoming here, boys, all right? Keep the losses incoming. Dylan Cousins is out until March 7th. That is a huge loss. He's got a concussion, so... Pretty much everyone's going to move up one. Jack Quinn is up and overall, by the way. I'm going to throw him onto that third line. Actually, no, I'm not. I don't want a minus one on two lines. Ryan Reeves coming back into the lineup to play fourth line minutes. And we continue with the simulation, all right? So that will be the end of the month. Victor Olofsson is now out as well. So the team is taking some big losses here, which means some young players are getting their shot here. Who is scratched? Do we have anyone else that's scratched? All right, so we got to call up. We got to call up a forward here. So let's do that real quick. Who deserves to get some playing time? Do I want to give the rookie uh, a shot? I don't think so just yet. Uh, we'll give Rusa Line in a shout up here. And that sounds good to me. Edit NHL lines here. Everyone move up one. And then Rusa Line and we'll get thrown into there. Uh, how is UPL doing? 905 save percentage, all right? That's fine. Power play, we got uh, someone missing here, uh, and the screens are glitched. You know, EA, you got to fix your game, man. You got to fix your game. We'll throw in Henry Yokiharu for the time being, and we'll throw in Henry Yokiharu for the time being, all right? Doesn't really matter. We're trying to lose games, like, all right? So 
Uh, Rochester needs their lines fixed up here. Who was scratched? Any defenseman? All right, we're throwing a forward back there. Don't really care, to be honest. All right, now goaltending. 71 overall. He's got a 963 save percentage in three games, so good for him. Might be a little gem that we uh, didn't know that we had, all right? Uh, so we were at the first of the month, I believe. Buffalo was 25, 31, and 3. We are in dead last in the Atlantic. Looking at the whole NHL, we are tied with the Wild for second last, I believe, all right? So let's go look at that real quick. Uh, team leaders, we got... Tage Thompson with 52 points in 55 games, so he's doing very well. Victor Olsen, 43 and 59. Skinner, 42 and 59. He's going to be a player that we are probably going to trade come the trade deadline. So looking at the trade deadline, I think Skinner is going to be one of the guys gone. Uh, Tuck, I think we're going to keep. Olsen, we may keep. Um, other than that, I think the only move we're going to be making is Skinner, maybe Ocposo, see what we can get for him. All right, so uh, then looking here, in the entire NHL, all right, the entire league, all right, we are sitting in third last, all right, we are sitting in third last, uh, so we get a top three pick right now, all right, and a chance to get that number one or number two pick in the draft lottery, all right, so things you'll love to see, things we're kind of gearing towards is that, that draft pick, man, so good to see there. Uh, before we end up this video, I do just want to see how our first overall pick is doing. He's up to a 71 overall already, and he's 18 years old. This was a great draft pick from GM Leifer. He's having himself a year, 53 games played with 33 points. He's a plus six, doing damage in the AHL. He's going to be NHL ready very, very soon, man. And uh, that was a very good first overall pick, and we're hoping to bring in another rookie like that as well this year, right? So that is it for this video. Trade deadline is coming up in the next one. We will see you guys then. Buffalo, let's see what's in store for the rest of the season.